spring is officially here. Now is the time when fish start biting. <laughs> Big one. And wildlife becomes more active. Kick back and get comfortable. This is spring in the Blue Ridge Mountains. We're on our way to spot number one, you guys, which is a 189 acre lake hidden in the Blue Ridge Mountains. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. It's actually one of our very favorite places to come fish. I mean, in the summertime, we like to come swim, have picnics, let the dog run around. Yeah, but we'll catch you guys there. too far today we get the pup with us it's a first day of spring where it actually doesn't feel completely like winter it's still a little chilly the wind's been blowing i think it's probably too soon for bass to be any type of spawning activity yet but we plan to get out every chance we can until that happens so even though I'm not expecting to catch much at all, if anything, it is nice to get out and let the dog enjoy himself. Don't take off too far. I talk to him like he's a human child. I fish a little bit slower here, guys, just because this water, if I had to guess, I would say in the upper 40s. So it's still cold. Yeah, doesn't look like Maddie's having any luck either. right up against this bank, which makes me wonder. Uh, I have this one, guys. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on in. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Not a big one, but we'll take it. Calm down, buddy. Barely hooked. Just a little half pounder, but we'll take it. We'll go show it to Maddie, get a quick picture, and let this baby go. Thanks, buddy. I think my pup ran away, so we're gonna find him, and uh, we'll get back on the water after that. Here he comes. Look, I want y'all to look at this face of guilt. Where have you been? Mm-hmm. Got some explaining to do. All right, he's good, so we're gonna hit the water again. There was a fish there, it isn't anymore. Oh yes, there is. Maddie. Oh, I did, I had one. Dang, I didn't hook it. So I think you could definitely get it. Let's try this again. See if we can get it to, uh, to commit. So I do think it's been my fault the past two that I've missed just because I'm I'm jerking too soon. I'm getting excited. I need to just chill for a second. Got it. Yeah, let's get her. Oh, just a tiny little thing. But like I said, we weren't expecting to catch anything. So we'll take tiny little things. Dang, it looks like you've been caught before. All right, I'm gonna keep an eye on the dog from Maddie. That way she can catch some fish too. He's like being a huge distraction. But yeah, this is like only a little, uh, I wouldn't even give it a half a pound. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get him back into the water. Thanks, buddy. You sure are a pretty fish. 
Very pretty markings on that fish. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. There he goes. with all the structure back here and on a really clear day like like it is today they're going to want to push back against things where they can stay camouflaged a little bit more I'm just trying to be really really slow with this bait there goes that duck again his butt is way up in the air it's hilarious he's out here grinding like us all right guys we got to get a monster we have to the last um trip out we caught two pip squeaks <laughs> big one here we go guys oh big one. oh no stay on stay on stay on oh, come right here try to bring her right here oh. oh no we ain't gonna let her run come on baby i'm gonna try Right here, girl. Yes! Y'all, right, look at that fish! Yeah. That's a good fish. Very nice first fish of the day. For this little body of water, this is considered a good fish. All so right, let's, let's get her back her. in the water. All right, big girl. Thank you for the catch. All right, let's try to do a good revive on her. Oh, she's kicking, she's kicking. There she goes. Ah, that was a good catch. Now let's go get some more. I'm going to throw this fluke around for a second. Let me show you. This fluke on way too small of a hook, but whatever. I'm going to throw this around for just a second, and then I have to rig up and go after some panfish because we are actually in this little bank fishing competition. It's a bunch of different species they want you to go catch. Like Pokemon, got to catch them all. I'm going to go rig up for panfish now and see if I can't. Make a blue go happen. The one fish you usually complain about catching is what I'm after now, and now's going to be the day when they're the most difficult because that's my luck. Here's our little grub deal. Let's hope we just hurry up and catch a panfish so we can get back to bass fishing because that's what I want to be doing right now. Unless it's a piece of live worm, it is not my type of fishing at all. Can't tell me there's not a panfish that doesn't want to bite this. All right, so I can be done with you. Or maybe they just don't like this. I don't know. The easiest fish to catch is today, for whatever reason, the most difficult. Right into the freaking tree. Come on, come on. Yes, yeah, probably for that. We lost our pan fishing. Get up. I got it snagged in the tree, so I'm just going back to bass fishing. You guys see all this structure right here? It's worth losing this bait. For hopefully I don't, but... It's definitely worth trying. The only problem is, if I do get something, which does look like something's messing with it, it is 100%. Got one. Oh, lost it. It's gonna be hard to pull him up out of there, as I was saying. I'm using a brush hog weightless now. Oh, I got I got hammered, but I freaking lost it. I hate this line on this reel. We need to respool it. I was too busy fixing this when I could have been concentrating on um getting that all right guys so we're going back with the brush hog on a hook that's way too big but we are limited on our tackle we just placed an order for more hooks and sinkers and all that good stuff we're just using what we have right now that's near the slope right here that was a horrible cast hopefully that didn't spook every fish in the vicinity. Uh, he's biting. 
Got it. I'm flip it. That's a nice fish on the brush hog. Because look at that fish. Fish here are just so healthy and beautiful. We're going to get a quick picture of this guy just because we like to show all fish love. Look at that fat little belly. And uh, then we're going to let it go. I know you'll grow up and be a big one. Oh, there we go. Hey, hey you, you went the wrong way. You went the wrong way. This is the bank. That's home. There you go. Thanks for the catch. All right, guys, I'm taking a quick break. I'm gonna sit down and sip on a little bit of Gatorade. We'll pick back up in just a little bit. All right, so we got on a teeny tiny, beautiful little guy though, ain't he? He's so pretty. I don't think he's gonna count for the competition. Yeah, they can't be, but so tiny. Bye, little guy. Thanks for the catch. Finally something. I got a fish. That is so freaking cute. So little. What a doll baby. Let's get him back in the water. Bye, buddy. Little frog. Look at this little guy. Ain't he cute? Oh, he's really cute. My battery is starting to die, so I can't really film much longer. I'm gonna cast over in here a few more times and we'll um, go that way. All right, yep. Got it. Got it. Oh, guy's fighting. Oh, he's not so little. Don't get me tangled up in them sticks now. And that's exactly what he did. Okay, got it. <laughs> I'm just sticking with him. Sorry, buddy. You've got me tangled up a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. A little self-release. No? No? You gonna hang out right here? All right. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh. There he goes. Self release. Sorry, guys, my battery died. So, managed to get on one more. Beautiful little fish. Man. We're going to let him go. Bye, buddy. Thanks. Well, guys, it was three fish on a day that was very challenging, very tough. We had to grind it out for those three bites, but they were three quality bites, plus Maddie's two panfish. Well, one was a bass, not really a panfish, but the trout magnet clearly works. My battery's completely dead. So that's gonna be it for today, but we will catch you guys on the next one.